Well, murdered on the streets of West Hollywood. Two Kaimuki High School graduates are at the center of a sensational crime tonight. KITV4 Shane Enright caught up with friends who are committed to carrying on the victim's bright spirit. I couldn't see how anyone could do such a horrible thing to him. Hello there, everybody. My name is Bobby Kambongsa. I'm 20 Bobby Kambongsa's fun-loving personality is captured in this YouTube video, posted just days before he was brutally murdered on the streets of L.A. Kambongsa moved to California to pursue a career as a freelance makeup artist in Hollywood. But friends say he was the real star. It was at Cheer 808 Hawaii in Kalihi where Kambongsa proved he was a performer. He was a member of the club's first cheerleading team, which celebrated many wins together. His former teammates say Kambongsa's personality was magnetic. He had um, over-the-top showmanship, and he definitely had a passion for life, and he was an inspiration for all of us. Kambongsa graduated from Kaimuki High School, where his former coach says he excelled on the varsity squad. But the gym's owner says the young man put cheering on hold to take a leap of faith. Nice. He was very excited about um, going to the mainland and to California to you know, pursue what he always wanted to do. But those dreams ended early Saturday morning when police found Kambongsa fatally stabbed. His friends say they don't know how this happened to someone whose smile once brightened the room. He never was um, somebody who got into trouble or talked badly about people. He loved people. So to hear that um, he was murdered, it's, it's very difficult. Friends struggling to cope with the sudden loss set up a memorial where Kambongsa died. While at home, those who looked up to him are carrying on his message oh, really? he left here? behind. To live your dreams and go out there, break a leg, and I hope I can like, do what he could do. Now, Shane, Bobby has such strong ties here. Did he ever talk about coming home? Actually, Laura, he planned to return home this weekend to celebrate his brother's high school graduation. But instead, his family is planning his funeral. Bobby was 27 years old. Laura. Such a sad story. All right, thanks, Shane. Well, the suspect, 29-year-old Richard Herrera, also attended Kaimuki High School. Kambongsa's brother, Thomas, poured over Kaimuki yearbooks today. He said his family didn't know Herrera, the former student council president who was two years older than Bobby. When I first found out about it, he got murdered. That was like a random, you know, a random person on the street, but it was someone from Hawaii that went to the same exact school as him. And I don't know, that's what's really confusing right now. Right. Trying to put all the pieces together, you know. Thomas says he remembers his older brother as inspirational, outgoing, and energetic.